Is that good, Bruno? It's chowing down. What's up guys, welcome to our channel. Um, the name of the channel is Live Your Protest. And by Live Your Protest, what we mean is you should let your lifestyle be your protest. So if you see something that, that you want to be different in the world, then maybe you should live your life in a way to kind of bring that change and make it possible. You know, as cliche as it sounds and everyone wants to say it, be the change you want to see in the world. Um, you know, we, we live in a tiny house and we have a van that we've built out um, that I'm about to give a tour of. Um, and, you know, we just want to kind of show uh, things that we do within our lifestyle and then also um, kind of find out, you know, maybe what some of, some of the things that you guys are doing to live your protest. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. Alright guys, welcome to the inside of the van. Um, like I was saying before, it's literally made out of scraps. Um, so we just took stuff that we had laying around. I mean, some of the 2 by 4s were laying around from out here from when we were trying to finish up on our home. Um, come down here, let me show you this. Uh, these are fence panels, privacy fence panels that were left over from um, a job that I used to do. I was a territory manager for a paint company and we would uh, have to do these training classes and so we would have leftover privacy fence panels and so um, I saved them all thinking that I might use them at some point. I didn't know I'd be using them for this but I thought I might use them. So um, all I did was just tear them apart and cut them to make this uh, box. Inside this box is where the uh, solar panels or the batteries are. The solar batteries and all the wiring. Um, and then also we have some storage on this side of it as well. Um, but like I said, man, it's just totally scraps. Um, now we did buy this new. I um, just bought it at Walmart just for some storage stuff. Um, use the boards up here used. Um, carbon monoxide detector is a must. You have to have a carbon monoxide detector. Um, how to get a, um, a max fan, um, a max air fan, that's a, that's a must as well. Um, there's a couple of different brands, it's pretty cool, but we went with this one. Um, again with this, this is a spooky part of a van build, but you just gotta do it. You know, it's like, I'm cutting a hole in the roof, but you just cut a hole in the roof and, you know, make it work. Um, from here, um, and what I did with this, this was just a piece of plywood that we had left over from our house, and I just took a blowtorch, just a torch, um, and uh, just kind of heated it up, and then threw some polyurethane on it to make, um, you know, kind of a, a shiny, kind of, you know, crisp looking uh, countertop, if you will, I guess. Um, and then, of course, you just uh, bought this. This was new at Home Depot. Um, Got it on sale, but we did buy it new and just kind of painted it up the way we wanted to. Throw some food in there. Got a little Coleman one burner stove that we use to cook with. We pop that down there, cook with it. Um, right here is the hot water heater. Um, th that was one thing we wanted to do. We wanted to, we really, really wanted um, a shower in here. Um, so what, what I did is we took, um, took a propane shower, a water heater, and then rigged up a shower. Um, here, let me show you the shower. I'll do more of an in-depth video um, here in a few weeks on, on the shower as far as like how, how I rigged it up with the water pump, because it's literally, I've never seen it before. I just kind of Frankensteined it together and it works. Um, but what we did, I'll just kind of peek in here. We got a portable toilet right here. Um, we got a portable toilet um, just in case an emergency. We've not actually had to use it yet, um, but we just took a, a wash tub from um, a farm supply store and then um, uh, come up here and I'll show you this. We got, here's the shower head. So um, it works really well. We just took a hoop. I think this is like a wreath, like from a wreath maker. 
and then um, just you know made the shower thing go around it. Just literally took a stick and just put it up here, um, just to try to to get it, um, yeah, get it to stay up. It's basically all you need. As long as it stays up, it's fine. Um, down here, uh, back here's the bed, um, and underneath it's just storage. Back here's the bed, um, and underneath it's just storage. So I mean, there's plenty of room to get back here and crash out. Um, and there's plenty of room for me and Tessa, and then Owen uh, sleeps right here. Um, so there's plenty of room for all three. And then um, back here also, um, we got a mount for a TV. Um, the TV's not up there right now, but we, we had it up earlier um, on our trip. But um, anyway, this is kind of it. Um, up front, show you this this seat's really handy um it actually folds up so when we're parked we can just fold the seat up we got a whole you know a whole bunch more room you wouldn't think like three square foot makes a big difference but when you're in a, such a little area it makes a huge difference so this let me show you how this works it's really easy i just use a bungee cord to kind of hold it up you just plop it down pull it in place bam you got a seat ready to go that is it. We got these blackout curtains to kind of help, um, kind of help keep the sun out. So when you're parking, you know, it kind of keeps the sun out. It kind of gives you some more privacy. It opens up to the cab right here. And that's, that is it. You know, um, having this van has really allowed us um, to be able to travel. You know, this summer um, we, um, we traveled around um, out west. We spent like two months straight in Colorado, you know, traveling around doing my wife's business. And um, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. We wouldn't have been able to do that had we been able to, if we had to stay in a motel room the entire time, we wouldn't have been able to do that. So, um, you know, it's something to think about if you're interested in it. It's not that hard to do. It's totally doable. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the van tour. Um, thank you for taking the time out to kind of look it over. I hope that maybe um, it has inspired you a little bit if you're interested in this type of thing to maybe take action and try it out. Um, you don't have to have a lot of money to get started with one. We paid like 2,500 bucks for the van. We had like 500 bucks in the build. So you know, you're looking at three grand and we got a traveling motel room. So we've used it like at least 60 times, um, if not more at this point, you know, saving on motels. So I mean, it's paid for itself many times over. Anyway, let's talk some more when we get back in. I will never claim to be an expert on anything that I talk about, but what I will claim to do is to have tried everything that we talk about. Everything that you see in this channel, I am not the most knowledgeable about and I do not know the most about it. But one thing I can tell you is that it's stuff that I have tried. Whether it's worked or not, some things have, some things haven't, but I have tried it. So I can speak from experience and that's what this channel is about. We want to inspire people to if not come to us to find out how to do things, but maybe see ideas from us and then together we can help raise the vibration and kind of help raise the consciousness of humanity all right guys that's it for this video um if you enjoyed it please hit the like button it doesn't take much you just click on it real easy just and then you're it, you like the video and then it shows up in the algorithms of however youtube works and then maybe more people will see the video and then maybe more people will like it and then i don't know anyway if you like the video hit the like button Please subscribe. You can hit the notification bell. Um, that will give you notifications of our upcoming videos. Our next video is going to be about our tiny house. So um, we're going to do a tour of that. Talk a little bit about how we did that. Pretty much the same way as we did our van. Made of scraps essentially. Um, we did it for super cheap. We got our entire house done for under 10 grand. So under $10,000. Tiny house build coming up on the next videos.